Welcome to Melbourne, Australia, where MMA Junkie is on the ground getting ready for UFC Fight Night 101. Now remember, this was supposed to be a rematch between Luke Rockhold and Jacare Souza. Instead, injury scrapped that. We've got a new main event of Robert Whitaker versus Derek Brunson, two top 10 ranked middleweights who are looking to move themselves into title contention in that division. Now, people are a little bit disappointed that that's the replacement main event, but we had a chance to sit down with both of the headliners who believe this is going to be a fight that you do not want to miss. Originally we weren't in the main event, but I mean, I don't think anybody would disagree that me and Robert Whitaker are some of the top middleweights in the world, you know? So I mean, you got two guys, um, hungry, young, looking to take that next step, both on a five fight winning streak, you know? So uh, it's, it's a lot of intrigue in this matchup and good stuff going forward. He's got killer wrestling, he's athletic and he's hungry. And uh, you know, you put those together and you get a good fighter. But, um, you know, I've got better striking. You know, I've got, I want it more. I've got more hunger. I've, I've got more fire in me. And, um, you know, come fight night, we're going we're gonna to go out there. And it's going to be a war. It really is. It's going to be fireworks. But um, he, he's not going to get up on me. You know, uh, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to throw, throw my hands. And my hands are dangerous. You know, I, like you said, I've been fly, flying under the radar a bit. And uh, it's about time I get the respect I deserve. Sometimes when a card is light on star power, you look down the list a little bit for something that might intrigue you. For us, that's been the UFC Fight Pass featured fight, the featherweight matchup between Dan Hooker and Jason Knight. Both of these young talents have been talking a little bit trash to each other all week. Both are ending this fight with extreme confidence. And I think both are wanting to turn in a fight of the night type performance. But I think he's way too cocky. You know, he, he's sitting here. I've seen a couple of videos where he thinks he's fisting to walk through me. He thinks he's fisting to have an easy night. He's going to touch me. He's not going to get touched. He's going to stop every takedown. Uh, man, I, I put it like this. If he doesn't get taken down, it's because I don't try to take him down. If, uh, if he thinks he's not going to get touched, he's got another thing coming because I promise you I'm going to touch him. And uh, he, he thinks he's going to go out here and tap me, run away, tap me, run away. But it's hard to run away from a man who's right there in your face that you can't get away from. Run from me if you want to. It's just going to make you look worse on the scorecards, buddy. That's up to Jace. Uh, if he comes in like that last fight, it's going to be a bad night for him. If he comes in stepping with all those shots and running into some things, I'm going to set him up for shots. And if he wants to run into them, then this might be over quick or he might be outclassed. Wait till I get tired. Start putting some shots on him, touching the right spots and taking him out two or three rounds. But so it's up to Jace. It's not up to me. Ultimate Media Day provided a few memorable sound bites as well, but to be honest with you, I think the most attention went to former UFC women's bantamweight champion Misha Tate, who's a guest fighter here this week, and spoke to the media for the first time since her surprise retirement at UFC 205, and she confirmed she's not thinking about coming back anytime soon. Um, I just knew after like the first exchange that I just didn't like want to do it anymore, so it was just kind of one of those things, I just like suck it out, but I knew I had a lot more to give, and uh, I just didn't give it so I don't know it's just one of those things it's kind of it's kind of odd to be honest but um, yeah just lacking a little bit of the, the competitive edge to want to punch people in the face. So. Veteran lightweight Ross Pearson was also on hand and he addressed a very difficult 2016 he's had a lot of close losses he's sick of it but he made it clear he wants to continue fighting on and he's done horsing around. I was just pure disheartened just like disappointed I am not disbelief but like like, what am I doing? Do you know what I mean? How many times can I keep doing this to myself? I don't want to be a fighter that goes out on like six, seven, eight, nine losses. Do you know what I mean? What? It would be different if I was getting hurt. It would be different if I'm getting taken out. It would be different if I'm getting outclassed. I haven't even been hitting any of these fights. Do you know what I mean? I'm literally going to get hit. I'm coming away unhurt. That's why I've been able to fight five times this year. And it's, it's not a fight. If you have five fights in a year in the top level and they're real fights, your body ain't going to make it. You know what I mean? And it's just, I was, I was upset. I was frustrated. I was like wanting to just have it out at the back. I was ready to go again. Do you know what I mean? I was just, I was, yeah, I was literally so upset. I could have took my gloves off and thrown them down and said, that was it, I'm finished. But that's not me. I'm, I'm a fighter. Now, due to the time change here in Australia, these fights take place early Sunday morning. So because of that, we only had one weigh-in ceremony today. The official weigh-in ceremonial all-in-one, we had no problems whatsoever. What we did have is a little bit of fireworks. Once again, it was Knight and Hooker that stole the show.
So now you're caught up. That's everything that's happening ahead of UFC Fight Night 101 here in Melbourne. We're going to go grab some lunch right now. In the meantime, make sure you stay tuned to MMA Junkie for full coverage of this event. We're on the ground right here in Melbourne.